Hi all, it's Teresa in Gemma's house. In today's video, I want to show you some of the quilts that I made in the last year and a half since I bought a new sewing machine that is a sewing quilting machine. It's a Baby Lock Jazz 2. I'm not sponsored by them or anything, but I do love the machine. So let's start the quilt show. So this one is made all with fabrics from my two daughters, little dresses and pajamas and little pants sets from when they were in grade school. So this is going back about 25 years. I didn't buy anything new for this quilt. It's all from their fabrics. It has an old quilt inside of it that I had bought that was very thin and I think it was cotton and polyester so I put that in the middle as batting and the backing is just unbleached muslin and some of these blocks even still have the little pockets from one of their dresses. I just sewed it shut. I think this is one of the first quilts I made on this new machine. I bought a lot of fat quarters and collected them over time and just cut them to make blocks and I free motion quilted over the entire quilt. It does have cotton batting in between and this is just an unbleached muslin sheet as the backing. This is one of my newer quilts. It doesn't have batting in it so it's more like a bedspread and it's made with all fabric scraps that I've had <laughs> over the last one and a half years. And I love the flannel backing. This is a fun quilt. This is also one of the first ones I made. This is white flannel. This is a cotton fabric. There's also the same flannel on the back and there is batting in this quilt, cotton batting. So it's super warm. It's like a blanket actually. This was an interesting one to figure out the pattern. I saw a similar design on someone's post in a Facebook quilting group and I just figured it out on my own how to make each block. These fabrics are from remnants and fat quarters that I collected over time. And these are batik. And the backing on this is all flannel. And I had to piece together the flannel because I always buy remnants and fabrics on sale. I never buy fabrics full price, ever. <laughs> so these are just two flannel remnants that I pieced together. This is another one of the bedspreads. It doesn't have any cotton batting in the middle. These are all small one yard pieces of fabric and scraps. And I laid it out on the floor <laughs> in rows and I had to put the dog gates up so that Gemma didn't crash through them because she did it once and messed up my design. I free motion quilted all over this quilt also. And on the back is a clearance fabric. It's cotton and I bought six yards and kept it until I had a quilt to use it on. And again, no batting in this one, so it's very nice for the summer. And this too was made with a lot of fabric scraps that I had and some remnants from other quilts and some fabrics that were fat quarters that I collected over time. Again, I saw this similar design from someone's post in a Facebook quilting group, and I just made it up as I went along, starting from that middle part. And the backing is unbleached muslin, and there's cotton batting in the middle. And I just quilted it with all straight lines. And it is one of my favorites, probably because I like blue so much. And this is a fun little blanket type quilt. I bought the fabric in one of those packages. I think it was two yards of fabric in the package. And the rest, these and these 
are from flannel pajamas that I bought on a super clearance sale. I bought 3x size pajama sets so that I would have a lot of fabric and I just cut them up. There's no batting inside, but it's an old polyester blanket that I hadn't been using for years and I just wanted to make some good use out of it. This is good on the couch because of the size. This is another one that doesn't have batting in it, so it's more like a bedspread. Again, these are all fabric scraps from other quilts that I had made and remnant pieces of fabric for the sashing. And I quilted it with straight lines along the sashing and free motion quilted it in the colorful floral blocks. And on the back is a clearance fabric. I love the color. Again, it was on clearance for maybe two or three dollars a yard. So I bought six yards and just kept it until I needed a nice colorful fabric for the backing. And as you can tell, <laughs> I like blues. This is one that is made from remnant fabrics and a jelly roll of these batik type fabrics. And again, I quilted it with straight lines along the sashing. And it's an unbleached muslin for the backing. And there is cotton batting in this one also. Another one of my favorites. This one I made from a quilt that my daughter's grandmother made for them when they were in grade school. She lived in Malaysia at the time and I had kept it for 20, 25 years and I cut it out off of the backing and added a few borders with fabrics that I had bought. And the backing is interesting too. This is flannel. It was a remnant piece and there wasn't enough for the entire backing. So I pieced it with one of the other remnant fabrics I used on the front. And I free motion quilted most of this because I wanted to keep these older fabrics together. Some of the seams looked a little loose because they were so old, 25 years or so. This is also a nice size for the couch. And again, another scrappy quilt. All of these blocks are made from scraps that I had. And then I added the sashing with fabrics that I bought. They were remnant fabrics or fabrics from a jelly roll that was black on black fabrics. And I love this quilt. It looks like stained glass, I think. On the back is a nice flannel. Again, I bought at Clarence. I pieced together two remnant pieces to have enough fabric for the backing. And there is 100% cotton batting in this one also. And this one, I remade it from a duvet cover that I had made about 30 years ago. So I just cut it apart and made a quilt out of it. This entire top was the duvet cover top. I didn't change that at all, but I added a nice flannel sheet that I had that I also wasn't using. It's really a nice heavy sheet. There's batting inside of this one too, cotton batting. And I free motion quilted on top of this one. And I just added a binding with the black on black fabrics that I had from those jelly rolls. I always buy them on sale, so I have them on hand because I like using black in my quilts. It just really makes it stand out nicely, it really makes the colors pop. The entire fabric on the top is upholstery fabric, so it is a little heavier. It's nice and warm for the winter. And this is one of the crazy quilts I made recently for the couch. Again, all made from fabric scraps of mine from previous quilts. <laughs> 
I did use an old polyester blanket as batting in between the layers and a flannel fitted sheet that I hadn't been using because the elastic came loose and I didn't feel like repairing it. So I cut it up to use as backing for quilts and it works great for that. This is nice and warm. And I love that I didn't have to buy anything new to make this quilt. This binding is from an old curtain that I had made about 20 years ago. So these quilts include the ones that I made for my daughters and of course for their dogs. They have four big dogs between the two of them. So the dogs have gotten quilts and my girls use the dog quilts for covering the dog kennels or inside the kennels. And my older daughter, who is a dog trainer, when she says place, the dog has to go and sit on its little bed. <laughs> so of course it needs a quilt for that too. And for their couch. So I have a lot of fun making quilts for their dogs as well as for myself and for Gemma, of course. <laughs> okay, so that was quite a workout. And now I have to fold all of these quilts up again. <laughs> And Gemma, like a good little girl, she stayed in her kennel the whole time because she didn't know what the heck I was doing. So I hope you got some good ideas for making quilts of your own if you're into that. And please let me know in the comments if you had a favorite or let me know about your quilting experiences or if you have any questions. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. So thanks for watching. Until next week, bye-bye.